Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out some very extra clickbaity Facebook life hacks. Now I don't know about you guys, but recently I've been seeing so many life hack videos all over my Facebook feed and I am constantly being tagged in them. And that's because a lot of companies such as Blossom or Refinery29 are coming out making these short little videos with DIYs, life hacks, makeup hacks, everything you could want and they are going insanely viral. Like for example, this page Blossom has over 34 million likes and all of their videos have over 20 million views. So I was wondering, do these life hacks actually work? Because a lot of them seem to be quite clickbaity just so you'll watch it and not actually do it. So today I have picked out the most extra and bougie ones that I could find on these Facebook pages and I am going to test them out for you all in the name of science. <laughs> So let's just get right on into it. This first one is by the Facebook brand company, I don't know what they're called, the Facebook page Blossom and it is called Look Smart, Feel Smarter with these 7 Smarter Adulting Life Hacks. All right, and it has 11 million views. Okay, so why don't we just watch this video together of the first DIY that I'm gonna do because it is interesting oh okay this is the painful shoes which I know we have all experienced before so it's saying to put cornstarch in your shoe all right <laughs> interesting method uh-huh oh and that's it you do all right okay the entire DIY is to just fill your shoe with cornstarch and then suddenly problem gone I don't think friction is the issue that is causing the pain it's likely the heel but all right, I have this pair of shoes here. They are flats, not heels, that are uncomfortable and always give me blisters. The reason I'm using flats and not heels is because none of my heels really hurt that bad, slash I don't want to put a bunch of cornstarch in a lot of my heels. <laughs> so I'm going to be using these shoes, which I love so much, but literally never wear because they cause me so much pain. But according to Blossom, just got to fill it up with some cornstarch and we're good to go. All right, I'm just gonna see how much they use, so you know, gotta be accurate in the testing. Two teaspoons. Oh wow, okay, so two teaspoons is about a tablespoon, which is what I have. So, um, oh my God, this is so weird. Oh, I feel really weird about this. All right, here we go, here it is. Pour that in. What am I doing? What am I doing? As you can see, oh, it's all in there. Oh, making a mess, yes. Living for it, living. Then you just mush it around. All right. Okay. <laughs> and after I've pressed it in, like so, that's it. That's the entire DIY. Now it won't hurt anymore. So what I'm gonna do is take the one full of cornstarch and the shoe with nothing in it, wear them and see how we go. <laughs> yeah, no, it does not work. I am spilling corn flour out everywhere. And my foot is still red from the shoe. I'm gonna show you guys. As predicted, my foot is red right there from rubbing with the shoe. Even though it is full of corn flour, it's still red. So this doesn't work. Oh my gosh, a mess. Okay, so that was just a literal mess. My entire floor is now like covered in corn flour. My feet are covered in corn flour. My hands are covered in corn flour. Just, just don't do it. That, that's not a good life hack. Like, if your feet are hurting, just use band-aids. Don't fill your shoe up with corn flour because one, it's a mess. Two, it doesn't even work. My feet are literally still red. And as, and my room now looks like I am in a freaking paranormal activity trying to catch a demon with its footprints. So, I don't recommend that one. So the next one I'm going to do is another shoe hack from Blossom. This video has 126 million views. How? What? Why are they getting so many? But anyway, let's watch the life hack together. Okay, so you need a shoe and a long sock and you just pop it over, pull it up, add in some snippet dips, and you are good to go it looks like. And that's the entire DIY. Wow, they actually look really good, what she did. Okay, so, oh wow, that close-up's not good. Hold up, wow, okay. It looked really good, and then they did a close-up, and it looks really messy, so let's see. We're gonna try this one. So for this, you need some heels. I have my favorite white pumps here, and some knee-high socks, so let's just do it. You know, I think this one could work, because I'm pretty sure 
think it was Ariana Grande in her um, problem video, her knee-high heels were actually just socks over heels. So, you know, this could work. And if it does, that's such a cheap way to get cute thigh-high boots. All right, so let's do it. I have my sock here. I'm just gonna roll it on up. Okay, I rolled it up like so. Now I'm gonna start with my right foot, because right side's my favorite. And just, oh my gosh, don't mind this. These are my favorite shoes. So they have been worn, wear and tear, worn in. But I'm just gonna push this sock, oh, that's hard, over the top, like so. I'm trying to get the um, sock over all of this at once is really difficult. Wow, that was really hard. Okay, so this is what we have. Looks like, um, if any of you guys used to watch iCarly, it looks like Sam's butter sock, just with a heel in it. But I'm now gonna take some scissors, big ass scissors, <laughs> and just do what they did. So just snip just above that heel so it can poke on through. I'm just gonna do a tiny little snip because these socks are gonna rip really easily. Yeah, exactly, it just did. So I've just pulled it up and over the heel like so. Oh wow, that doesn't look so great, okay. <laughs> and then I guess so you don't slip, you also need to cut a hole in the bottom. So again, I'm just gonna make a small one. So I just cut out a big chunk on the bottom there because I don't wanna slip. And I know that that's gonna um, get bigger and expand and stuff. But that is literally it. So I'm gonna do it to the other shoe and then we will test them out. Okay, so I changed my entire outfit because I was getting major clueless vibes from the shoes. But this is what they ended up looking like. I am conflicted because you can definitely tell that I just have put socks on top of my shoes like so. But then if you look at the outfit as a whole, it looks quite cute. And like these whites don't match up, which could be a fault of my own, but I mean, how are you gonna get the exact match? And you can definitely see the outlining here. So I don't know. And I think my final answer is that they're good if you're in a pinch and really need them. Maybe a Halloween costume, maybe something went wrong with your boots, but as a whole, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way to wear them because they do just look like I've thrown socks over my shoes, which is exactly what I've done. So I think in the long haul, j just buy thigh highs. Just It's just gonna look so much better. So that one didn't work either. Like, this is so disappointing. Two out of two so far haven't worked. And I actually kind of wanted that one too because I thought it would be such a cute little hack. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. And this next one is what sparked my entire idea to do this video. And it is very, very extra, let me tell you. So let, let's just watch the video together. So this one's from Blossom as well and it has 24 million views. And it's called Be Bougie on a Budget with these decor crafts that cost less than $5. Love it, Bougie on a Budget is literally my brand. So I did like a lot of the hacks of this video, but the one I decided to do was this gorge chandelier. So let's watch it together. Okay, pause. First of all, <laughs> that layout of how much everything costs is so inaccurate because that is, nothing is that cheap. Nothing. So let's go through the real costs of what it takes to make this chandelier. Okay, first of all, it's saying that this like garden planter thing only costs $1.80. That is completely incorrect. Mine cost me $14. Now I know it's probably an American company and everything is cheaper in America, but it's not gonna be $13 cheaper. So that's incorrect. Secondly, they said that spray paint costs a dollar and five cents. That's not true. I bought the cheapest spray paint there was and it was still $4.50. Lastly, they said that the crystal beads only cost 99 cents and that is the biggest lie of it all that really grinds my gears because crystals are freaking expensive. I got these ones right here and these are five dollars each. Each! And if you want some of the cool pendants like this that they're using in their video, these cost $5 per thing. So luckily I had an old necklace that I could use for this. But yeah, okay, that's my rant about their lies with the price over. <laughs> but they're lying, they're lying. Okay, so anyway, with lies with the price, then you take that out and spray paint it. By the way, I'm nervous to spray paint. I've never spray painted before, but you know, we'll see. Then you just hook them on in, bada bing, bada boom. Add on one more and that's it. 
It looks really nice and then they add a candle into it and I think it just makes it look so cheap. So I'm not going to add a candle into it. If this works, I am moving house soon. So I'm redesigning my room and I would love to hang it over the top of a light. So let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take out oh, this, I don't know what you'd call it, this, so that we are left with just that. It's quite big as well, but this was the smallest size I could get, so, you know, especially if I'm hanging it over a light, it should work. So now, we're going to go outside and try something new. Spray painting. I'm glad you're all here on this journey with me. Let's go. Alright, so it is quite some time later because this spray paint took forever to dry, but, ta-da, this is what we have all nice and silver. So according to the video, the next step is to just take a bunch of crystals and attach them on. So I am going to do that. And I'm also considering using some uh, rhinestones as well because that might tie in a little bit better with my personal room. This isn't a part of the Facebook video, but you know, I'm going to add my own flair to it because I think this could actually work. Okay, so my hot glue gun is warmed up, so I'm just gonna go in. <laughs> they didn't really have any technique, so I'm not really going to either. Okay, I'm gonna start here and using my hot glue gun, just glue down right here. There we go, all right. A lot of glue. I'm being very generous. And then taking this, I am going to put it on. And because, as you would know if you've seen any life hack DIY videos I've done before, I'm always paranoid that everything's gonna break, so I am then covering it with another layer of glue. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to put them all around. As you can see, like there, I'm gonna do that on more of this, and I'll check back in. All right, this is what it looks like, oh, so far with the crystals all attached. So now I'm going to attach them to the bottom here, just like so, to make it really look like a chandelier. So let's do that. Okay, so, I have finished the chandelier and I, I don't know, I don't know. This is what it looks like. Ta-da! I'll insert like more of a close-up now. But, you know, it's a good starting point. I think I'm going to go away and make it my own and make it look slightly better. But I'm going to give it to them. I'm going to give it to them. Okay, so the lucky last extra life hack from Facebook that I'm trying today is a clothing one. It's how to turn a pair of leggings into a bodysuit. So again, let's just watch it together and um, see what we think. See what happens. All right, so you start off with a pair of leggings. That I can do. Then you cut them completely. All right. Then you fold. Uh-huh. And you sew it in. Oh, sewing my no They have a really bad sewing technique. <laughs> that sewing technique is not good at all. But okay, we're going to slide past that and just keep it on moving. And that's it. You know, somehow I don't think it's going to look as good as this girl is making it look. Because that looks great, if you ask me. That looks like a legit bodysuit. But I don't think it's going to look like that. But... What do I know? So why don't we just get into it? And I forgot to say, but this one is also by Blossom and it has 68 million views. And it's called Skip Them All and Get Trendy with these five clever fashion hacks. So, all right, let's try it. I have my pair of leggings here. These are just black kind of old ones that I was probably gonna throw out anyway. So why not? Why not turn it into a bodysuit? All right, so apparently the first thing I need to do is fold them like so and then cut directly across here. Fun fact about me that a lot of you wouldn't know because I've gained a lot of subscribers recently, which, hi, thanks for joining. But um, I used to study fashion, so I know how to make clothes and this is definitely an interesting way. But if it works, it works. Oh wow, I did really dodgy cutting. <laughs> how, is, how did they get such a perfect straight line? Mine looks like I hacked at it, mainly because I did. But that's besides the point. And now really quickly off camera, I am going to sew it together. I'm not gonna use their sewing technique because I didn't like it, I'm gonna use my own. But I will check back in with you once I've sewed them both in. Okay, so it's quite some time later. Sewing this took a lot longer than I expected, but I now have this. Thing, monstrosity, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's try it on and see how it looks. I I don't know, has potential, has potential. Let's see if Blossom can pull through. Ta-da! This is the top. Doesn't it look so gorgeous? Does not look like a pair of pants at all. Would I personally wear this? 
I don't think it's for me because I wouldn't feel comfortable having like my entire back out and it's kind of like a one wrong mood and everything's on for show. Like there's a lot of fashion tape keeping this together. It is a top for cheap. It literally cost me nothing because I used an old pair of leggings. So it, this is a look like this outfit right here. No one would even know I'm wearing leggings. Literally looks like a top. So I love it. Also don't mind my cat in the background there. Just having a little nap in the thing that came out of that cage for the chandelier. He's just living his best life, minding his own business. I am so happy with how that top turned out. I really did not expect it to look that good. But honestly, it literally looks like something I would buy in a boutique. So I am so happy with how that turned out. That was definitely a bougie for less hack right there. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer as I try these extra clickbait life hacks. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, I'm considering doing a Q&A for next week. I don't know if it'll happen, but if it does, please leave questions down below that you want me to answer in the video because I've gained a lot of subscribers recently and I just want you to get to know me a little bit better. So leave any of your questions below. And if you want to see more of my face, I am on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. My links are down below and on the screen right now. And that is it for today. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye. And now I'm going to order some nachos.